Hey everyone, CJ from Diode Dynamics. Today in the garage, we'll be showing you how to install our new plug and play SSC1 headlights on this 2023 Polaris Turbo R4 Premium. And if you're interested in any of our other kits you see installed here, check out the video linked in the description below. Let's get started. We'll start by using a T40 Torx to remove the two bolts on the upper hood panel. Remove the panel by lifting away from the top and then sliding the panel toward the windshield. We'll then remove one T40 Torx bolt holding the lower hood panel in place. Remove the panel by pulling away from the top and then sliding it downward toward the bumper. With a trim removal tool, you'll then remove one plastic clip on the outside of the fender and another on the inside. Then, with a T40 Torx bit, remove seven bolts on the outside of the fender, followed by three on the inside of the fender. There are two more T40 bolts on the speaker panel that will need to be loosened. Now we can take the driver's side fender off by pulling the panel away from the body while working around the door latch. With our T40 Torx bit, we'll remove four more bolts holding on the upper hood panel, along with one more plastic clip with a trim removal tool. Now we can remove the panel by releasing the tab near the A-pillar by pulling up and away from the vehicle. With the panel removed, disconnect the factory harness from the OE headlight by lifting up on the retention tab and pulling the connector away. Then with a T25 Torx bit, we'll need to remove the three screws holding on our headlight. On top of the grill, there are two plastic tabs you'll need to squeeze and pull away to remove the grill and gain access to the last screw on the headlight. We can now assemble our C1 headlight. Starting by bolting on each C1 universal bracket to the headlight bracket, only hand tight using the provided bolt, washer, lock washer, and nut. Then, we can bolt the C1s to their universal brackets using a 3 8 wrench and 5 30 seconds Allen. It's important to note the wide pod will be the innermost, our spot will be in the middle, and our fog will be the outermost pod. You'll want to make sure to not tighten them down all the way just yet to leave room for adjustment later. Then you can plug the DT adapter harness to the correctly labeled pods. Next, locate the fuse box under the dashboard on the driver's side and replace the 7.5 amp fuse labeled lights with the supplied 15 amp fuse. We can now plug in and bolt on our C1 headlight assembly to the vehicle using the factory T25 bolts and the included washers and spacers.
Finally, we can make our aiming adjustments. Rotate each pod left and right, tightening it down from the bottom with a 13 millimeter socket and extension. Then tilt your pods up and down, tightening them with a 3 8 wrench and 5 30 seconds Allen. With the driver's side complete, we can repeat the same steps on the other side. However, we'll need to remove the antenna using an 8 millimeter socket and an extra push clip here on the side with a trim removal tool. With everything functioning and aimed properly, we can reassemble everything by reversing the steps we used to take it apart and zip tie any loose wiring, keeping away from any hot or moving parts. With our SSC1 headlight kit installed, not only will you have an aggressive off-road appearance, but you'll also have three different output patterns providing you with wide, medium, and long-range visibility significantly better than stock. With the addition of amber accent lights when the main beams aren't in use. If you're looking to pick up our SSC1 headlight kit or any of our other products, be sure to visit our website at diodynamics.com or use our dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. And if you want to stay up to date on any new or future products, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching.